So welcome everybody to Hands On with Jota. Today we are going to take a look into Docker with MySQL. So basically we are going to have um, this, I have here a dump of MySQL, which creates a simple table, just a very simple dump. <laughs> basically it's going to create this table for me. And the idea is that this is going to be inside of the Docker container and then I'm going to be able to play around with this table inside of this Docker container being exposed with a certain port. So let's take a look into it. Let's say that first we're going to go to Docker Hub MySQL, which is this one. And it's pretty much straightforward because this is something that looks like they come up to do the same stuff for all of them in the same way. Basically, when you're going to be working with Docker and with a certain uh, database, in many cases they are going to give you an entry point. And this entry point is going to help you to load up the information that you're going to need. So for that, let's say that First, we're going to create here a Docker file. And then we're going to say from MySQL 5.7. Let's say it's just for beginning number, right? I'm going for that one. So initialize. So this guy has here this one, the Docker entry point. And this is going to happen the same with MongoDB. If you're going to be working for MongoDB as well, then you're going to be able to work with this guy as well. So if you say copy, call it dump SQL. That's it. We expose like this. And now we can say Docker build MySQL example. Docker run. And we're going to run it like this. So there are different ways of running this, uh, this Docker container expose it. If you run it like this, then it's going to assign for you a certain, certain uh, variable. It's a certain port for you. If you define like this, then you're going to say that you're going from the container port 3306 to your port 3306. There is something already running with 3306. Let's go for this one. Maybe I have some other things running there in the in the place. So let's go for his own assignment. If you go for this one with a minus minus p, you can also use something called expose into the Docker file. And when that happens, um, what's going to happen there is that uh, you're going to be exposing. You're going to see to the minus p which port you're going to be using. So. Here it is already running and waiting for, for some. Okay, let's see a bit more. Ready for connections, that's good. So, SQL Pro. So now we are going to access to the SQL Pro and see if it is there, everything up and running in the way that we are looking for. If you enter here to Docker PS, you will see that there is here already assigning this port 32772. So we can access to this guy. and say bling bling this connection access denied 
So basically we try to connect it, say no. See, so see, I just make a mistake here in the password. Let's go for it. And once I get here, I can choose the other ways to go, for example. And it has there the table of users, right? That contains the structure of ID and name. So there we are. Database example that contains the users with ID and name. So that's it for today. It's just a very simple example of how to expose and use this guy. Expose and use this guy. Um, hope that you enjoyed. If you if you did so, just give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We are going to continue doing some more things in regards to Docker and and different different things that we have in, in and different different things that we have. Have a good one. Enjoy and till next time. Bye bye. Till next time. Bye bye.